Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Zelda XD playthrough. It's time for the first dungeon, the Lost and Found Office. That doesn't sound threatening. That oh, it is. First thing you have to do is talk to the receptionist. Wait a minute. You've already fallen into your first trap. You're not looking for gloves. No, actually we are, because they're the iron gloves. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. But the, we only have the one, so we'll only be able to pick up small objects with it. But uh, this is the main room of the Lost and Found office. This is the area we'll always be coming back to to get, try and go anywhere. I recognize this music. This is one of the Link's Awakening dungeons, yeah. isn't it? Wait, a place that makes you go mad? Yep. <laughs> I'm betting that probably is <laughs> a reference to something much better that we could be witnessing. And as always, Sarashrala is useless. Remember what this guy we just passed said about so something about giving someone a spoon? Ooh, and a magma rock. Remember that. It'll, it's going to save you a whole ton of heartbreak later on. Oh, okay. I bet it will. Okay. Alright, so we can see a chest over there, so let's try and get the chest that... Never mind. You can't get the chest. Why not? It just it switches between those two areas, and you can never get it. <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, sounds about right. Well, this seems relatively inoffensive, although I... Ah, uh, but the better thing is, is that, so is that this is event-based, so... All the flags must be... Yep, you yeah, always gotta go back and talk to the receptionist. Uh... Well, if that is one hard-working receptionist, you should not hate on the receptionist. The receptionist does good work. Indeed. First thing to do once you talk to him is to go right, and this is the part where the game gets annoying. <gasps> teleport pads. Yes, a one-way <laughs> teleport pad. That <laughs> oh. Ooh, Ooh yeah. wonderful. That was worth it. Yep, sure was a waste of time there. Congratulations, bombs. In here, you got a guy in here, he'll sell you rice. Basmati rice. Oh. Why? Basmati rice is good. But you don't want to buy from him because you can get a better deal in this place. What? I'm, st I'm still trying to get over the concept of you want to buy some basmati rice. Oh, well, it's not for you, it's for someone else. Obviously. But the only fetch quest we have is Magma Rock. Oh, by the way, here's another uh, funny joke for you. Sigh. So, uh, yeah, you want to know what happens here? Um, it keeps going and going and going and going and going and going, and if you turn around, you're already at the beginning. Well, it's like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. A clever way to trick you. The problem is, is that you want to find the button fairly quickly, otherwise it's gonna get really annoying really fast. Where is the button? Oh, there are. On the other side of the infinite hallway. Uh, what? Of course. So you need to teleport round to the other end of the infinite hallway. Oh yeah. There's a lot of things you have to do. And by the way, this room is pointless. Well, there had to be enemies, because it is a dungeon, so... A real pension, I'd say? What? <laughs> is, that like a <laughs> is that like a dumb joke? Not really. I think that's just a damning commentary on modern bureaucracy. 
By the way, remember where this guy is and what you have to do to get to him, because otherwise this gets really hard. Um... But hey, we've got our compass. Want it? It'll, it should show us where all the chests are. And... Awesome. That's helpful. Did you have a piece of pie in your inventory? I did, but then I traded it for these boots that uh, don't have laces. So I randomly dash in a direction when I press the button. Yay. Uh huh. But anyway, you want the rice because you got to go here to get the rice to trade it for something a little bit better. So you also want to remember where counter 22 is and how you get to it. And you also want to come back there with a bang rock because it's also what you're going to need to do. Wait, and under here? <laughs> of course. That's cheap. I was going to say a complete and hor total horrible dick move, but cheap works too. <laughs> I like how chests are empty for a second, and then... You get whatever is completely useless. Like uh, bombs, the things that just spawn in, like, pots. Yeah. Mario but here's another thing that you have to do. You, you want to go to the next floor, what you got to do is look at this statue and realize that they put in an actual Zelda puzzle here, but in a way that you can't really tell. Uh-huh. Oh. So, th yeah, there's no crack in that wall, so you're just going to have to guess that that's there. Okay. There's it's someone who talks to you about it, but it but they're so far away that by the time you would realize what it is and what they're talking about, you're already like an hour and a half into the dungeon. Yeah. If you can blow anything up, you really want to do it in this dungeon just because it saves you time. Not because it's even useful. But just because it's saving time. <laughs> Remember again where how you get to this one because this is going to get really annoying really fast. <laughs> I love this, and at the same time despise it with every fiber of my being. Oh uh, yeah, by the way, on the reception floor. <laughs> this asshole stops you from going anywhere. There is no way to get him to open or close anything. Because as you see, that man up there is actually on strike. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Guess there was just nothing to take that was use useless. Sorry. They could have had bombs in there. That would have also been useless. Whoa. Whoa. Jump, Jump cut. cut. Yep. So let's go back to where we were before and take the right path that gets us to where we need to go. So I take it you just got stuck and went and retraced. No. Than... It's just showing off where you have to go and it gets annoying really fast. Because the thing is, this whole place is annoying not because it sends you everywhere, but because it uses so many one-way ways to do it. Oh, Forum A38. Hmm. Sounds familiar. Yep. I can't think why, though. By the way, also, remember where this is, because you have to go back here. <sighs> this sure seems like a task. Well, this definitely looks better than Return of the Hillian. You say that now. Well, I mean, there are actually things here. And people and stuff. It's not like a whole series of just giant empty rooms. By the way, that lady there never does anything at all. Excellent. It didn't really seem like she even worked there. <laughs> the map. Hey, let's look at the map, and that it'll be able to tell... What? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Why do I get the feeling that it's kind of sort of telling the truth? Yeah. By the way, I resolved to never look at the map again. <laughs> <Yeah>. But why? 
Oh. <sighs> oh well, let's try some of these I, other guys. I would assert that that map is completely correct. <laughs> Your ability to find counter 41 is terrible. I gotta show off all these places. Oh yeah, by the way, you have to talk to this guy. Uh -huh. Why? Because that triggers her to show up at counter 41. Oh. oh. It sounds like you also need to go to counter 12. No, you have to go near it, which is the problem. Oh. This is a warp that sends you back to that area with the elf man. You don't want to go to the right wing, no. Look at your newly enhanced wealth. Yep. May come in worse. So much for not looking at the map. <laughs> eh, call it a poison that you have to take. But, back to where we were with the statue. Which is where we need to go. Again, not that it really tells you until you're already on top of it. That's another warp that sends you back to the start. It looks like they're clearly marked, so I think it's your fault. And here's possibly the most dick move in the entire thing. So remember, kids, when you get here, have the crystal switch turn to turn off blue things, or you're gonna get really pissed. Oh boy. Blue thing. On the other side of that is also a blue thing, so if you want to get past this idiot... You have to have this set on blue. And if you don't, well, you're not getting anywhere. What happens if you just jump down that hole? You die. Oh. Also, find that chest. It'll save you a lot of time. Okay, now you have all the money in the world. Why do you need a... The discount, that's Matthew Rice guy. Because he's a miser. Well, no, that and you need a lot of Basmati Rice. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Also, the receptionist. No use. It sounds like the receptionist is adding in his own sound effects. Yeah, that would probably make sense. I mean, you know, government employees these days have such shoestring budgets. Which is weird, considering their salaries. <laughs> By the way, that guy is also useless. Nothing happens with him. What? What? Okay, so... We could trade that guy some all a sack of olives, but... Meh. Meh. Here's the thing, um, some of the trading sequences in this do not trigger They're the first time you come through an area, so you have no idea who buys what. Mm. That sounds exciting. Oh, hey, we get to go up on Super Collide the Super Collider, if we have something to do it with. Woo, references. Walk through the yeah. center, you're fine. And guess who? Uh, it's Billboard! What? He's my favorite character in all of Mario. Which is why he was saddled with possibly the most tedious puzzle in this area. Not that the whole area itself is any better. Got to drag this to the button, I guess. Yep. And the button is very far away. Yep, remember how that sign back there said it was only there to annoy you? Yep. Oh, yeah, oh. I see why. Because now you've got to drag it around the sign. Uh. And this is sadly not a ROM hack, so you can't use a turbo button. Yeah. And also, you can't pick up the sign. Yep. You also can't fall off that grating there, which is slightly strange.
You can't. I don't even know why that's there. It's just. Contempt. Okay, so let's read that other s sign. Maybe that one also admits its horrible, horrible crimes of being here to annoy you. No. No, it doesn't. It just also says that the sign is here to annoy you. But hey, you're almost there! <laughs> almost! That sure looks like a regular button. But, with that, the infinite hallway is disabled. Bask in this, because we're actually only about a third of the way through the dungeon. Oh, you don't even have what? the big key yet. Yep. WHAT?! Join us all next time, everybody! No, fuck you! Get back here!